Okay, that was the acorn stomp. And um, if you look on YouTube for uh, Martin Hayes and Bruce Molsky and the Valley of the Moon Orchestra, they do a really great version of this tune. And it's actually a pretty simple tune. It's in the key of F, so you kind of have to remember that your first finger on the A string is in the lower position for the B flat. And um, the first finger on the E string for the F is in the lower position. So you have to remember those kinds of things. Um, if you ever played in the key of C, so you know where the F is, but the key of F is a little bit different because of that B flat. But this one also has the call and answer, or call and response type of a situation here. Starts on, starts on the low C note. There you go, third finger. <laughs> if you can see that, third finger on the G string. And here's the call. Pretty simple. Okay. Then the response. Once again. Okay, and you got to remember those syncopated rhythms too with this kind of stuff. And then we go again with the next call. Which is the same as the first one. Um, and then the next answer, which is very similar to the first one, but it has a, an ending cadence. Okay. Okay, so that's the A part. That's a pretty simple part right there. And then the B part starts on the F on the high E string. That's it. That's pretty simple right there. Then the next part. Okay, well, let's do those two together. Okay, so that kind of leads into the the, uh, the second call, I suppose you could say. And then the response, which is the same as the A part. So here's the whole B part. Oops, sorry. All right, so that's the acorn stomp. Pretty simple little tune, but it's a really fun one to play. So the acorn stomp, hope that helps, and I uh, hope you have a good time playing that one. Remember to look up Martin Hayes and Bruce Molsky and the Valley of the Moon Orchestra playing that one and get a really good sense of how, that's, how that goes. Okay, thanks. We'll see you next time.